during that 18 hours, does it feel like 18 hours? Does it feel like a month? Is, is there any concept of time? <laughs> Yes, for me, because I did what they told me not to do. <laughs> like any good team guy. Yeah. I snuck a watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, hey. Yeah. So, no, it was the, hey, man, you're in your bed. You're set up. You're, like, legitimately good to go. They're like, hey, don't get up. You got a nice piss container. I mean, the best piss container next to your bed you've ever seen. Not a Gatorade bottle, not a Coke bottle. This thing fits everything and nice, perfect. I'm like, well, I don't want to piss in that. Like, Well, if you get up, your equilibrium's off. You're going to get ill. You're going to get nauseous. Fuck you. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I got to piss. So I get up, ooh, there it is. I'm all jacked up. and um, Like room spinning? Yeah, uh, room spinning, absolutely no bounce. And I laughed. I was like, oh, they're fucking right. I, I can't, I, you know, make my way to the bathroom, being as stubborn as I can be, refuse help from the nurse, you know what I mean? Look down on the toilet, and I'm like, I'm going to puke now. Sweet. So I'm dry heaving, and, uh, you know, I look up, and there's a clock, and I'm like, oh, boy been here for like 40 minutes it's only been <laughs> like 40 shit. minutes i've been under and a wow. lot has happened wow and the dudes next to me are going through it because yeah. you have noise cancellation headphones on like you're in your own space so you saw the other dudes oh you're it's room of five and so what what did it look like are they like shivering and shaking and being all no fun? depends some guys are super just in their own zone and other guys are seeing their worst nightmare i mean what does that look like visually the guys that are uh, seeing seeing it they're going through it, man. I mean, they're, they're thrashing a little bit. They're trying to get away They're Some of them are, you know, very audible, Yeah. you know, um, but they're working through their thing, man. And, uh, you know, when I realized that I'd been under for 14, well, let's backtrack. First, I blew the vein where they had the catheter. So they had given me the medicine and then I'm like, shit, I just blew this. You got to redo it. So by the time they had refixed it, everything had kicked in. So that first 15 minutes was eaten up by that. Then I go to the toilet and see the clock. Um, and then I just said, you know what, forget it, man. Let go, get in it. Like, just get in it. And I did, and I saw a lot more. Um, you're always going to see the demon. You're always, I mean, from what I, from my experiences, a lot of people have seen a lot of the same entity. And what happens with that entity could be different depending on how you're handling things. Some people are getting drugged down to their death. Other people get their sword and their shield, and they get to fight these adversaries. I was fortunate enough. I had, I had faith. I was able to fight my adversary, my adversaries in that moment, which was cool. Uh, can you describe what you saw as Absolutely. far as the demon? Absolutely. Um, so as it appeared to me first, it was just pitch black because you have a nice face mask on. And then it'll be, you know, it was these red little beady eyes that came across. I say the screen, but kind of my viewing path. And I'm like, all right, here we go. All right. Uh, you know, kind of had been writing a little bit about this from some buddies. Um, and, uh, just kind of scuttles past me again. And then he shows his face and it's pointy, pointy horns. I mean, full blown demon, man. It's a demon. Like it looks like the devil. Absolutely, man. Um, <clears throat> and then his boys came and there's a bunch of them. I'm All like, look the same. Pretty, yeah. yeah. And I'm screaming, let's fucking go, man. All right. Cause I knew this moment was coming eventually. So I'm going to be the hard ass and I'm going to do it to attack it that way. Nah, that wasn't going to work for me, man. Um, so I uh, got yeah, pretty, pretty nervous about it all, man, during that situation. And they, they weren't going away. And they were, you know, it's just visuals things, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of looked behind me. I remember, and there was a light. And I was like, man, I'm not alone. I'm good to go. There's a light behind me. It blinded them, burned them. And they all retracted back into their hole and left me alone because I knew I had the light behind me, man. So it wasn't until you looked behind you yeah. where you realized you could defeat yeah. him. Dude, that's fucking intense, The man. light, the light, man. All I can yeah. say is the light. Yeah. Wow. That's powerful, man. Um, I am curious, during that, if you want to call it a trip or a journey, experience, yeah. whatever, is it is it kind of like a lucid dream or like do you have the ability to make decisions like yeah that? yeah yeah so I, I can make a decision hey I'm gonna take a break really so it's now now that's dangerous because a lot of the settings I was getting is my brain was like okay you remember what this room looks like but it was adding things that weren't really there mm -hmm. right and I remember being in one scenario where I was in my son's room and I could vividly remember like I'm in my kid's room like oh this is kind of cool um but then if you take the mask off and blindfold off, my biggest fear was is I didn't want to see shit with the mask off. I yeah. wanted everything to kind of stay compartmentalized here, right, yeah. in, the, in this zone, versus it, me looking at the bookshelf and that little motherfucker's crawling across the bookshelf, and now I'm really going to lose my shit, right? Yeah. So I tried to keep, I tried to control things and keep things kind of where I was comfortable but knew that I was going to 
get the best experience, which yeah. was laying down horizontal headphones on mask on and just take this in. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How did it end? It ended with, um, it kind of simmers down the visuals start to lighten up, but you've been in it so long. You can kind of call things up. Like I was, Hey, show me a whale, show me this. And I would be cool. So when you get out of it, sun comes up. I'm one of those guys that gets up early, starts moving. I got to be the first out of bed and shit like that. So I get up and uh, some guys are still in it, fully in it, like really having a bad moment. And I'm like, hey, I think I'm done. So nurses come up and go, okay, we're going to give you a hit of vitamins, you know, through your IV. We'll give you an IV bag, you know, keep you, get you back up. You need to still probably just chill out for another six hours, I think she said. And I looked at her like, I'm hungry now. So uh, popped up, went downstairs met with some of the people that were down there and realized I was the only guy there that had done the medicine. And uh, they're like, you sure you want to be up right now? And I'm yeah, I'm good to go, dude. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, man. They were like, I think you should lay back. I think you're right. I'm going to go yeah. lay back down now. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. That's, that's, it's neat to hear you walk, walk through it. Uh, I mean, again, I've, I've talked to a number of guys who have been through it, and it's, yeah. it's fascinating for me to get each guy's yeah. own experience because they're all different. Right. Know, it's like they're similar but different. Absolutely. Um, so you go home. It's life-changing. Um, well, there's another medicine you do. Oh, okay. So you get that one. You get the Ibogaine day one. You chill day two. Day three, you're going to go and you're going to go, I think it's, I think it's DMT something, DMT, MEO5 or something like that. Uh, the toad venom, which was supposed to be the bow and the cherry, but guys are like traumatized from the night before. So they're, they're waving off saying, I think we're good. I think we're just going to hang with what we got. And this stuff makes you pretty, I mean, you're down for a little bit. We had an older, an older guy there who jacked him up pretty good. It was, took him a minute to get his bearings back. But, um, so we get down and go do the, the toad. And I think it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be, you know, but this, I know we're um, inhaling, right? We're smoking this one. So I'm thinking we're going to, you know, do it old school. We're going to powwow up. So everyone's sitting puff, on their puff, little, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're all going to enjoy this together. No, this yeah. is one by one. Yeah. And for good reason, because this is, uh, this one is a, this one you got to let go. Mm. This one is about you. This one's really about you, not necessarily. Um, and that was, you need to do the, you need to do both. You, you have to finish it up with that toad because that that is the bow on top of the present for you. It puts everything in perspective. It is where I found my purpose. It's where I found my gratitude. It's where I found my self-love. It's where I found, hey, man, you have a special gift. You need to go out there and go spread this thing, man, out. Go give it to everybody that you can. Um, that's what the toad did. And that was, I mean, it's screaming, laughing, crying all at once, man. It's so many emotions at once. Very specifically, I'll give you a quick one here. You're taking multiple hits. It's a handshake hit on the first one, right? You're just kind of feeling it out. And then you have the option if you want to continue. So, um, I continued. Um, that second one was the real deal. I remember not wanting to give in, like just not wanting to give up because I knew the feeling that I was feeling and it was one of death. It felt like I was slipping away, um, which has to happen. Um, cause if you've been reborn, you've got to obviously, you know, you got to pass. So I popped up mask off. Like I don't, uh, uh-uh. and, and the facilitators just looked at me I was crying mask on and I give in and I thank them so much for that moment right there. Just looking at you. Yeah. I thank them so much for that moment. They didn't, they didn't say a word, but I knew what he was saying. You ain't fucking done, bro lay back down. You need this. Um, and I did, and I let go and I looked at the other facilitator before I went down. I was like, Hey man, just make sure you bring me back, bro. Just yeah. bring me back. Yeah. Cause I can feel me. I can feel it and you feel it. And, uh, yeah. Was it the, the dad at target raised eyebrows? Stop fucking with that. <laughs> look, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Don't have to say shit. It's like motherfucker. You didn't have to say anything to me. <laughs> and the dude was so crispy that's clean awesome. with how he did it, man. It was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's great. Perfect. What a wild journey, man. <sighs> that's a good one. And how, and that's much shorter, right? Oh, yeah. That's 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. That's an easy day. And then you get out of that, and then you're upstairs. You're hugging, crying. Every, I mean, I've never gotten so close with four other dudes. That you'd never and th- met. You'd never met. And not, they weren't team guys. They were just different branches of the military. Bro, I talked to a couple of those guys, like, daily. Yeah. Um, you just can't. You can't build the bond faster. And, wow. that, and that medicine brought you close. Because then we got to share. Yeah. We had to share what we went through. 
that was big. Uh, from from when that hit stops yeah. uh, and you kind of come back down and you you bond and all that how how much longer are you there and do that before you go home oh you're um so that cleans up that's sunday and then you're out of there monday okay yeah it's it's a quick turnaround. it's like 72 hours max i think yeah wow 